Welcome to another episode of Morning Meds, FamityFamily.com's devotional spot for meals to meditate on Yahweh's word for good success. We are grateful for your attention today where we continue to rampage through the scriptures. And yesterday, today's topic is on how shall we return? And yesterday, and that's today is from Malachi 3 verses 1 to 10. And yesterday we were on the topic of repentance and we understood that, that the contrite or the humble in spirit are the ones that really get God's mercy. When we understand that the, the whole issue of humility and being broken in spirit is another option to instead of being stubborn, then we can look at that as an alternative to staying stuck in our, our life of sin. Sometimes a sin, somebody who continues to sin, even after convicted of their sin, is someone who is stubborn. And we saw David, one example of, of repentance is where David was humble and he received mercy from God. So today we are looking at the topic, how shall we return? And we know the story of the Hebrews as one of people who were exiled from their home. They are essentially evicted from their home because they were not submissive to their landlord. They did not respect their landlord, Yahweh. And so they lost access to their home. They became slaves of someone else. So instead of not owning their home, they are in the home, but they, 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 they lost the home. And even those that returned home, they ended up paying rent where before they were their own owners. So today we're on how do we get to go back home? Malachi 3 verses 1 to 10 says, and we'll just take it back, Malachi 2.17, and we'll go all the way to, through to Malachi, Malachi uh, 2 verse 17 all, all the way through to Malachi um, 3, verse 12. So we we'll go to Malachi 2.17 to Malachi 3.12. And we're reading from the Good News Translation. You have tired the Lord out with your talk, but you ask, How have we tired him? By saying, The Lord Almighty thinks all evildoers are good. In fact, he likes them. Or by asking, where is the God who is supposed to be just? The Lord Almighty answers, I will send my messenger to prepare the way for me. Then the Lord you are looking for will suddenly come to his temple. The messenger you long to see will come and proclaim my covenant. But who will be able to endure the day when he comes? Who will be able to survive when he appears? He will be like strong soap, like a fire that refines metal. He will come to judge like one who refines and purifies silver. As a metal worker refines silver and gold, so the Lord's messenger will purify the priests, so that they will bring to the Lord the right kinds of offerings. Then the offerings which the people of Judah and Jerusalem bring to the Lord will be pleasing to him, as they used to be in the past. The Lord Almighty says, I will appear among you to judge, and I will testify at once against those who practice magic, against adulterers, against those who give false testimony, those who cheat employees out of their wages, and those who take advantage of widows, orphans, and foreigners, against all who do not respect me. I am the Lord, and I do not change. And so you, the descendants of Jacob, are not yet completely lost. You, like your ancestors before you, have turned away from my laws and have not kept them. Turn back to me, and I will turn to you. But you ask, what must we do to turn back to you? I ask you, is it right for a person to cheat God? Of course not, yet you are cheating me. How, you ask, in the matter of tithes and offerings? 
A curse is on all of you because the whole nation is cheating me. Bring the full amount of your tithes to the temple so that there will be plenty of food there. Put me to the test and you will see that I will open the windows of heaven and pour out on you in abundance all kinds of good things. I will not let insects destroy your crops and your grapevines will be loaded with grapes. Verse 12. Then the people of all nations will call you happy because your land will be a good place to live in. So that's Malachi 2.17 to Malachi 3 verse 12. And the key verse 7, and that verse 7 says, You, like your ancestors before you, have turned away from my laws and have not kept them. Turn back to me and I will turn to you. But you ask, what must we do to turn back to you? And the verse shows that Malachi was prophesying to the Hebrews about how they were questioning how they can return to the Father. So the Father replies to show visible signs of repentance, starting with financial reform through their own sacrifice. And this is a big area for us nowadays. We understand that our financial systems, our banking systems, are not built about, are not built around sacrifice. They are not built around showing compassion to the poor, the orphan, the widows, and the strangers. They are, it's really a commercial system that's built on protecting the shareholders of financial in, in, uh, intermediaries and institutions. Verse 10 shows that the Father will do when he shows what the Father will do when we repent, and that we will be supernaturally blessed on our job and our jobs will be prosperous. So the road to abundant life is through our repentance. That repentance must be seen in our financial giving through tithes and offerings, but not just tithes and offerings that are given to people who are not sensitive to the poor, the orphan, the widows, and the strangers. So here, we return to the Lord with our repentance. We get to go back home, so our home with Yahweh, based on when our mind is transformed. So the road to abundant life is through our repentance. We return home in our mind first before we return home physically. So verse Malachi 3.7 and Malachi 3.10 are key verses for today. And verse 7 says, You, like your ancestors before you, have turned away from my laws and have not kept them. Turn back to me and I will turn to you. But you ask, what must we do to turn back to you? And verse 10 says, Bring the full amount of your tithes to the temple, so that there will be plenty of food there. Put me to the test, and you will see that I will open the windows of heaven and pour out on you in abundance all kinds of good things.